when first I left old England shore, such yarns as we were told, as how folks in Australia could pick up lumps of gold. So when we got to Melbourne town, we were ready soon to slip and get even with the captain and scuttle from the ship. With the swag upon my shoulder, black Billy in me hand, I travel the bush of Australia like a true born native man. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. We got a nice day today. Bit of blue sky shining through, and. Um, I think it's just a sign of uh, good things to come. There's springs just around the corner. So I thought I'll get out with uh, 6,000 today. However, we are expecting some rain for the next week. So <laughs> make the most of it on a Sunday. And I thought I'll come back to uh, my spot here with, um, with a reef. This reef's been shedding down here. And I think this has actually been uh, hydro sluiced as well for alluvial, uh, the uh, loose gold or alluvial gold um, that's on the surface. So, um, this hill here has been seems to be where a lot of gold's found. However, this other gully across here, um, not so much. Now, there's been a bulldozer going through here. Um, to create an access track, possibly for when they burnt this off um, many years ago. And they've pushed from the top there right now, and I've uh, found some gold where that bulldozer has been through as well. So it's hard to tell without um, without all of it, with all the vegetation here, it's hard to tell where that gold's come from. Could be pushed up there, down to there, across this other gully, but. Nevertheless, <clears throat> gold is where you find it, isn't it? As the saying goes. So I'm going to go have a scratch around and hopefully I come back with some gold. So in case you're wondering, um, the settings I'm using today is I might actually crank that up one notch. Um, I run it. That's probably <laughs> what a lot of you guys run your 6000 at. Just two notches above um, the lowest on manual there. Um, it's basically all there is to it. Obviously do a noise cancel first up and I run it on difficult uh, ground as well. Um, I've never found any ground where I can use it on smooth. So ground around here is pretty quiet compared to other places like Meribar um, or anything over in WA. So those are my settings and of course the headphones as well. So. Now you might be wondering where would you get your cover from or what is your cover? <laughs> um, this is just a cover off of my gold monster. <laughs> it's kind of flaps around a bit and whatever, but it's it's something, you know. I should, probably should go get a proper cover. Um, but this is just what I had at the time. It stops the rain. Well, it's better than nothing, isn't it? Yep. So it just stops the water splashing on it a bit and... Yeah. Alright guys, yeah, guys so I got my first real signal today and hopefully you can hear, I've got the headphones on, but hopefully you can hear through the headphones. It's uh, coming through nice and clear and I've dug, I reckon that's already two inches uh, just of the top fluff and uh, I'm about 50-50% percent -50 of ex expecting what the target to be. It could be um, could be gold because it's down on that that layer uh, with all the rock and clay, but I've also uh, it's still the top layer of that clay if you know what I, if you know what I mean, which could be a bullet. So let's uh, dig it and, and find out.
it's a bullet. It's a big one too. Or bigger than normal. So, chick chick boom. Can't win them all. But that was missed. There's a big hole right there, right next to the camera. Coulda, coulda been. So that's the previous dig hole. That's where I just got that. Fill her in and let's go dig another. Okay guys, so <coughs> I uh, moved away from that last area. Uh, just down there. Um, I did a, a paddock to fairly substantial area. Gritted it out and uh, um, didn't find anything at all. <laughs> so what I've done, I've changed, changed tactics and I've um, gone over to where I have found gold before and um, with the SDC and I just went back over this little track here and on the side of the track I just scraped this clear signal and if I can get this out out of here where are we out pop this nice little little nuggy Yeah, missed that with the SDC, and that was down, I don't know. I'm gonna say that's about, yeah, two inches, so. And that came through really loud and, and sharp through the, the headphones, and uh, yeah. So, um, I think I've made the right decision, <laughs> moving away from that other spot, but you never know. It looked good, it had lots of quartz and that, so yeah. Um, again, gold is where you find it. So I'm going to keep going here for a little bit longer. The sun's going down though. And uh, I've probably got about a, another couple of hours of daylight left. But when I'm kind of knackered at the moment too. <laughs> Alright, well, if I don't find any more, I'm going to see you on the next one. Just gonna be the thumbnail, maybe. All right, make this the thumbnail. <laughs> Cheers, guys. And here's number two. Literally a few meters from up there, and in the track. And the SDC missed it. <laughs> uh, uh, you always find a run, run of gold, when it's at the end of the day and you're absolutely naked. But anyway, I'm going to mark this one on my GPS and I'll come back clean it up. So, alright. Stay tuned, guys. See you in the hey, next you one. <clears throat> hey, you want to know what's funny? I just dug up another one. And I gave it a clean... <laughs> That was deep too. That was that was four inches, I reckon. <laughs> and I had a scrape there. That second one over there, and the first one up there. <laughs> I'm under a run, guys. How many nuggets is a patch? I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video about that. <laughs> okay, this is my new thumbnail. If I can. Hang on. There we go. Beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Okay. Let's go.